guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Thrunite TN12 sent to me by Thrunite. If we open the cardboard box in here, you can see that inside I've got the Thrunite TN12 2014 with soft white cool LED model. So immediately inside the box, we've got this very nice carrying case, which I actually really appreciate. And you can easily slip the torch inside it, then it means that it can be attached to a belt or something else. As well as that, the torch comes with a nice lanyard that you can attach on like this and tighten up around your wrist, which I think is a really nice feature so you don't drop the torch. It also comes with this clip, which I attached earlier and that's why it's not attached. And it's actually really difficult to take off, so you know that once this is attached to your pocket, it's really solid and it's not going to fall out. So the next step to put the battery in is we've got to unscrew the back here. And as you can see now, you can unscrew this back piece here, but you can also unscrew the torch head here. That leaves you with this middle section. And as you can see now, both of these different threads are actually the same type of thread. So you can reverse this piece around. And that means that this clip can actually go backwards on as well. So you could actually attach this to a cap like this, it makes an incredibly bright and powerful head torch. But I prefer it to be this way around. Also, I'm gonna say that the threads are very high quality and incredibly smooth to twist. And then they also connect to these really nice rubber seals, which the box came with spares if you somehow managed to break these. Also came with a spare button to go on the back here. And also, it would be very difficult to cross thread these because they're actually quite thick threads as well. So they're very heavy duty. So the next thing that you're going to need is going to be your batteries. And these are 18650 rechargeable lithium ion batteries also sent to me by Thrunite. And they sent me two of these. And then you just insert them into the torch and then screw the back back on. So now the torch is functional and we can turn it on. So first setting here is not very bright and this is the fire flight mode for the torch. And this is its darkest settings. So I'm just going to quickly cycle through the settings so you can see. What it is. So if you just click this button here, which is in a very nice ergonomic position, you can just hold the torch and flick through it without actually having to change your grip. So here we've got the medium mode, the high mode, and the brightest mode. And if you hold this button down when you're on any of the settings, it also goes into strobe light mode, which is really blinding. So now let's cycle through the modes again and we'll have a look at how long they last and the different brightnesses. So this Firefly mode here is actually surprisingly bright for 0.3 lumens and it can do this for an incredible 1585 hours per one battery. Even though it's not very bright, if you're just walking around in the dark with not much moonlight, if I turn off the lights here, you can actually see that it still shows up and this actually travels quite a distance in pitch black. So next, if we press this button here, can move on to the 20 lumen mode and it can this is pretty bright now and it's getting to the sort of brightness of a normal torch very cheap torch from the pound store or something and if you use this for the entire battery it'll last for 74 hours still which is really useful so if we press the button again it then goes up to 280 lumens and this is starting to get really bright and it actually hurts your eyes if you look directly into the spot created by the torch and this is really bright and it actually travels for a really long distance in darkness. This 280 lumen mode lasts for an incredible 5 hours. If we press the button again then we get up to the 800 lumen mode and this is starting to get really too bright to look at even indirectly. And it can do this for 1.5 hours. And up to the final setting which is 1050 lumens and it can do this for 90 minutes so 1.5 hours. And if you leave it on this setting for a little bit, you can actually start to feel the torch head start to get quite hot. So I wouldn't recommend leaving it on for the full time, just of one battery charge, because you could damage the LED. And also, as you've seen before, you can put it on the strobe light mode, which is absolutely horrible for anything around you. And that's also at 1050 lumens. So the torch is constructed out of aircraft grade aluminium with a hard anti-scratch anodized coating and cross-hatch grip, which feels really nice. And as was proved from my Thrunite T10 and my Thrunite TI shown in another review, um, this coating actually works very well to prevent the aluminium from getting scratched. As well as that, the torch head features toughened ultra clear glass lens with an anti-reflective coating. And if you look closely inside there, you can start to see the LED. 
So due to the construction of this torch, it's waterproof to two meters, which means if for some reason I'm not wearing the lanyard or it's broken, I if I accidentally walk along and drop it in a puddle, absolutely nothing happens. Even while it's submerged, all of the buttons continue to work and you can turn it on and off and also control all of the brightnesses. And underwater, the strobe light mode is incredibly blinding and horrible. So now you've know that the TN12 is completely fully waterproof. You can leave it in this bath for absolutely ages, even turned on on one of the modes. I mean, we can put it on 200 lumen mode and it'll last there overnight and it'll be absolutely fine in the morning and still have battery to use. So this torch also claims to be impact resistant to 1.5 meters. So we'll just test it out here on a concrete floor, just dropping it vertically straight onto the lens, which is, says it's made of toughened glass. So it should weather this absolutely no problem. That was quite a tough impact. Let's see if it survived. So the torch is still going. And surprisingly, there's not even any scratches to the coating. So now we'll try it from a little bit higher. This is probably about 1.3, 1.4 meters. And we'll just see if it survives quite a loud impact because this torch is quite heavy but it still survived completely intact and also there's barely any scratching on the metal coating on the front so that last one it actually turned off but it still works absolutely fine I think that was just the battery bouncing down and disconnecting from the circuit so now let's test the torch's brightness in very dark light and we'll also see how far it goes and what the spread of the beam is like so if we just put it onto its very lowest setting, of course you can see it against my hand, but it's 0.3 lumens, so you can't really see it at all on travel on the camera. Turn it up to the second setting, and I can see it with my eyes, but you can't really see it on the camera. And it probably goes about 10, 15 meters. Turn it up to the next setting, and you can start to see it appear on the camera. And as you can see, it's reaching those trees over there very easily. They're probably about 20 meters away. Now let's turn it up to the 800 lumen setting and it's considerably brighter and you can't really see the outer ring on the camera but I can and you can see that it's easily illuminating those trees over there and one very far in the distance up there and then we'll turn it up to the maximum 1000 lumen setting wait a second I just went past it twice now there we go and as you can see it's considerably brighter than all of the other modes and if I just tilt the camera up here you can't see this, but it's actually reaching a tree very far over there, just above this one here. So this torch is actually incredibly bright and it reaches really far, which is good. And this will be really great for useful hunting or walking around in the darkness. And also you can turn it onto the strobe light mode and it pretty much blinds everything in front of you. So now for a bit more extreme test of durability and waterproof and battery life, we're going to be putting the torch inside this Ziploc bag full of water and then we're going to be freezing it in the freezer. And we're going to be leaving it there overnight and seeing if it stays on in the morning. The moment it's currently on second lowest setting which is 24 lumens and it claims it should be able to do that for 74 hours. I reckon the battery is on about half charge so it should easily be able to last 12 hours overnight so that the water can all freeze completely and then we'll see if it still functions in the morning. It's pretty cool having it in this bag and it'll be really cool if it survives. This is the torch 12 hours later in the morning and it appears that as the ice has frozen it's expanded and pressed on the button holding it down and turning on the strobe light mode which actually must have done quite recently because it can only do strobe light for a couple of hours because it's on 1000 lumens. So this is what it looks like and it's absolutely horrible because it's actually just acting like a big block of strobe light and it's actually horrible to look at and I need to try and crack open the ice and get the torch free now. So I just wanted to show you this and even through all of the ice, the torch actually works quite well and you can see it sort of over there in the distance. Obviously it's not as bright because it's inside the bag. If you leave it in a dark room, it actually lights up the entire room. So now it's time to crack the ice open and for this I'm just gonna be using a ball pin. go 
So I've just retrieved the torch from the ice and it's really, really cold, but let's try and turn it off this setting because it's horrible. And there we go, it's got ice all over the lens and it actually still functions completely normally. And it seems that even after being overnight with the strobe light mode on, all of the brightness is still incredibly bright and it doesn't really seem that the batteries run out of battery too much. Problem is I can't quite turn it off yet because the back button actually has ice all over it. So the torch survived despite having strobe light mode on almost all night as far as I think. So since overnight it's been left on and I've used it a bit this morning, it's actually run out of batteries now and this is it on its brightest setting and it doesn't even do strobe light mode anymore. So now that it's run out of batteries, we could either replace it with a fully charged battery or we could use a normal charger to charge up the battery or we could use the Thrunite MCC2. This is an awesome charger that Thrunite sent me as well and it's their charger for these type of batteries but as you can see here, it's a list of all the compatible batteries and it charges loads of different types and it's got a little screen here that shows you the charging progress as well. So once it's plugged in, it shows you this screen saying zero volts on everything so then we can take a fully charged battery like this which has actually been uncharged for a little while so it might have a little bit of charging to do and yeah so it's on 3.6 and i think it goes up to 4.1 volts so now we can take the completely uncharged battery which was the one inside here and you could see earlier that it didn't even work because it was so dark and then make sure that you put it in the right way around and line it up. As you can see here, it charges two at once. As well as that, it comes with this adapter, which I think is a car adapter, which would be really, really useful for if you go camping or something and you bring a car, so you can charge up the torches there as well. And you can just take this and plug it in the top like this. So, and with a new fully charged battery, the torch works perfectly. So over the past couple of months I've been working with Thrunite and they're such a generous company and they've actually sent me all of these torches over the past. The Thrunite TI and Thrunite T10 here were two torches which I reviewed in a previous video. They then went on to send me the Thrunite TN12 and with all of its different features including batteries and charger as you've seen. If you want to see the video for the Thrunite TI and the Thrunite T10 I do a torture test on them as well. On top of that, as a Christmas gift, they sent me two of these Thrunite TI Titanium model and they're really nice as well. This is the torch that I actually carry every day in my pocket and I've got my memory stick on it and I basically have this in with all of my keys and coins and everything smashing up together and as you can see the anodized coating on the aluminium hasn't become scratched at all, which is really good. So thanks for watching guys, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you have please hit the like button down below and subscribe. Say in the comments section if you want me to do any more sort of torch videos but at the moment I'm not really planning to and I'm going to be going back to doing normal content on my channel. A massive thank you to Thrunite for sending me all of these torches, chargers and equipment and also for being such a generous company and for producing such high quality awesome torches. If you want to purchase any of these torches, the links will be in the description to the Amazon store and through Night's website. Thanks for watching guys, I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and if you have, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. If you did enjoy my video, you might like some of my others and you can see previews of them here. If you want to find out the full videos, then go to my channel and check them out.